So good evening. It's very, very much evening here. Wherever we are. Can you guess? Short sleeves, white shirts. We are in a southern part or southern hemisphere of planet where actually is a winter. It's quite different than where I lived before. And I like this kind of winter. It's raining every second day, but it's absolutely beautiful. If you ask me what is the month or a date, I have no idea. Vaguely I know it's about 216, mid of 216, 2016 in this timeline. So some others maybe they could be shifted or they could be quite distorted because some other timelines have a 13 zodiac characters. Oh, does it remind you on 13 families that we have? Oh, do you know what 13 one is? Yeah, I'll tell you, but don't tell anybody. It's Drago. Oh, I'm sorry, Dragon. Doesn't exist in this particular timeline, but it can be fixed. Don't worry, we'll bring it over. So we have a 13 months a year in 360 days a year but you can always change it you can jump to another timeline where it's better organized i mean this time sharing between the different species of your beautiful energy but you have to become aware what does it mean huh, sharing the energies are you doing this willingly or unwillingly are these energies are freely given to whoever ask or don't ask or these energies are just stolen and they are stolen from you if they are not freely given I would like to actually dedicate this little video to a beautiful person that we actually met on the Facebook today or on uh, YouTube her name is Ira Ira yeah you will find uh, some links on this video and if you check on our Facebook you'll see and especially you'll hear in what deception of so-called life we live. So that's the title for today's uh, little chat. It's called Astro Charts Bullshit and Other Planetary Tales. So I'll let the to talking stick to lovely Denise. Thank you, Prika. Mm. Yes, I think most of us at some stage in our life had an astral chart done by a so-called specialist that specializes in astrological matters and horoscopes, the zodiac signs, numbers, numerology and many more other tools that they use to make some predictions. Now, just to give you some idea. If we indulge ourselves in a specific date of birth or time that we were born, a specific day or a specific year, um, that it's all linked to planets, dates, time. Um, uh, date of the week as well. Yeah, the day of the week as well. So. And that is a, a prediction that is based on on that specific day, your your date of birth. And again, I need to just stress that we've now um, come to realize that uh, dark forces have, in actual fact, <laughs> um, even infiltrated that area of our life. We, as we know, that when anybody makes a prediction, because the astral 
a logical chart um, prepared by some specialist or whatever you want to call him or her. Uh, make a make a prediction of your life gives you um, a sole purpose and a life journey uh, analysis uh, which is merely a prediction and unfortunately the human race they're so gullible that they will follow these guidelines um, because if it's a good prediction they're happy to hear all the good predictions but if it's a bad prediction then they tend to remember that and restrict themselves by abiding or going along with what uh, this person had given them in their chart, which is a total misconception because we come equipped with 100% knowledge. We do not need any guidance, any future predictions uh, um, for you to actually limit yourself. You are a true master when you arrive, when you get born in this life. You do not need any predictions or to tell you how your sole purpose and your life journey will turn out to be. So, um, because you are in charge of your own life through your own free will. This is also the galaxy and the planet with free will and free choice. So uh, again, you can be free from all of those limitations. So you call so, predictions a limitation? Absolutely, a prediction is a limitation. What about prophecy 212? Oh gosh, answer. that was a huge, huge mm. uh, prediction made and uh, the end of the world and everybody was sort of expecting that the world would have come to an end on the 21st of December 2012. But, but it did, did it, right? Well, I would say the dark forces had an ascension plan planned for us because um, the, they really had scheduled two types of ascension and um, they, it, in actual fact, abducted most of the people on the evening of the 21st of December 2012 to clone most of them and I think 10% of humanity actually escaped that cloning process because they put you on a timeline. But in short, Britta, what I wanted to say is that um, the dark forces have, in actual fact, um, um, assigned certain um, symbols or events to a date, a time, and even the day of the week, linking you to a specific, through these charts, they would link you to a planet. planet. So you've been corded to a specific planet and the day of the week. So what we normally do is, and this is that's something else that we can discuss and show, show the people, is that we will collapse those timelines and the numbers. Um, but yes, in short, I yeah. want to say that is what it is. So do not follow a prediction, so, but so you limit say, yourself. By me, liking for Saturday mm -hmm. to come so I'm not working, what does it mean? I'm what? You link to Saturn, okay, okay, and then which is happened? Saturday, and... Um, they are mere. They are things assigned to a specific planet. So, and it will control your life because part so of the astrological. So whatever happened on this Saturn, in the past, in many different timelines where Saturn really didn't survive much, right? It's actually the imprisonment of planet. Exactly. Yes. So all these energies are kind of linked to you. Linked to me, right? Yeah. If I'm fully not aware of the Saturn, right? Sure. Okay. Sure. So. In short, yeah. That is, that's really, uh, you need to understand what is playing out in the background. Um, as I said, we were not fully aware of all these darker um, agendas. Um, we are now aware of it, and that's why we're sharing this with you, as well as um, the alphabet and the numbers and the, and the letters that are tied in with your name, your date of birth, mm -hmm. month, day, and planet. So... That's got a much deeper meaning, but it's as a, that's another topic for another discussion another time. Okay. Thanks. Okay, guys. So, being born in March. I'm a Mars baby. I have to be a warrior, right? I have to worry, not worry. I have to make a war against somebody all the time. So I have to determine who my enemy is at a particular moment. And I'm telling you true feeling. I am a warrior. I am from Mars. Or some of the timeline of the Mars. But I don't know who's my enemy. 
Who is it? My ignorance? My parents' genes, DNA, let's say. My ancestors' bad dealings with uh, Hitler and uh, with uh, you know killing people in uh, in Auschwitz and everywhere else in Second World War, in the First World War, creating another war. This was all ancestry left for me. So I have to find who truly is my enemy. Okay, if I'm born under the Mars, influenced by Jupiter and Saturn and all these angles, when they calculate, they basically square me right into jail. Okay, so I don't want to live. I don't want to live like this anymore. So there is a solution. First, you have to find who's your enemy. Is it your enemy your ancestral DNA garbage collected through the past? Absolutely is. Is your enemy your government? No, 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 probably. Is your enemy your bank? Of course it is. When you realize how much energy they take from you every time you have to collect a mortgage payment. How much energy your government takes from you when you have to pay electrical bill, which is outrageous. And they get electrical bill from a nature that actually gave it freely. So you can use it or utilize it, right? You as a human. But again, these are just like very vague things. I cannot fight against my government. I cannot fight against the bank because bank doesn't exist. It's like blah, something in the, in the air. So who I'm fighting? Or who I supposed to fight to get free out of this jail? I go play Monopoly with my kids. $200 when I pass start and I collect more money or get a free ticket out of the jail. But why get free ticket? Not realizing that I'm still in the jail, even if I get free, let's say pass on the highway, I was speeding too much. And the police took me, you know, for granted, this one I'll give you for free, next one you'll pay three times more. I'm still in the jail. Because I did not know who my enemy was. Do you? Do you grasping who is your real enemy and why these beings are doing this? What is the worst that could happen to you? Well, I can just give you one little example. Your soul can be just stolen. Your body can be multiplied cloned in many different timelines and you still continue feeding all this little you know, like I don't know how you call them like little vampiric suckers they have nothing to do with the real enemy who was presenting to you your bankers are not an enemy your government is not an enemy it's your attitude towards these situations your ignorance is your enemy. Your not knowing is your enemy. So, come and join the fight, a real fight. First, you find who is your enemy.